In the studio we have with us inter an international lawyer, barrister Femi Aino. It's good to have you join us right now. Thank you. For You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, all eyes across the world have been on Zimbabwe. Yes. And uh, now, today, based on all of the uh, permutations we've been seeing and all of that, the, the, the Mugabe did not tender his resignation mm -hmm. on Monday, 12 noon, which was uh, the, the deadline, deadline given by yeah. ZANU-PF. And the process is supposed to, impeachment is supposed to commence today. Mm -hmm. What are we expecting? Well, there are various possibilities. And there are three options. Okay. The first one is either he resign voluntarily or the he, second He still has the space. He still has that space okay. before the impeachment process. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Or there will be a negotiated roadmap whereby he will retire and we go in exile either in Mozambique or South Africa or any other country. Or the worst scenario, you just die in office because if you look at what has been happening since November 15, this must have put a considerable pressure on a 93-year-old sitting president. Mm. And that can trigger a sort of uh, medical problems <laughs> here and there. So this is a good opportunity for Zimbabwe if they want a new leader. If they fail to seize that opportunity, what is likely to happen is that this man will remain in power. He will have opportunity to contest the next election. And if care is not taken, he will be in office up to the age of 100 if he's still here. Which is what he said. I and mean, he said yes, nobody he can. Said he, he will rule. die in office. Yes, that exactly. is not And contest go. as a cop, yes. if possible. And, and that's another, <laughs> yeah, another and, seven and that's years. another scenario. But mm. let's wait. The only problem I have with the piece, you see, the, either whether you call it a coup, they call it operation legacy. Mm. What what sort of legacy? Is it Mugabe legacy or the liberation legacy or what sort? And the military, they seem not to know what they are doing from the look of it. On Sunday, you know, the expectation was that this man is going to read the resignation letter. letter. Mm. But for one reason or the other, all the military officers, they all sat there like a tailor's dummy <laughs> watching him. And f miraculously, he changed the script. And instead of resigning, it was a defiant speech. Mm -hmm. And he used the word, I commander in chief. Mm. And as we speak, whether under house arrest or whatever, he's still the president of that country. Mm. And he's still the commander in chief. And once you are the commander in chief, you are the head of the military. Mm. He can still fire some of you, the generals. If care is not taken. If care is and like not you taken. said, you know, will Zimbabwe lose this opportunity? It's looking like Zimbabwe may just lose uh, this opportunity because the question is, how easy would it even be uh, to impeach uh, Robert Mugabe with the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, slowing down from the military and, of course, even the ZANU-PF? I take your point, uh, but uh, can I respectfully ask you to take my point? Yes. You see, this is where they have a problem. There has been an attempt to impeach Mugabe in the past, mm. and this was resisted by ZANU-PF members. And what is going to happen, this is an opportunity for them to pay them back that, okay, you want to impeach him now. You need our support. We may not give you that support. Take that as number one. Most of the lawmakers are even outside the country because of the incident that happened on November 14. Mm. And when you want to impeach people, it is quite clear. Whether it is written, it is implied by law that you need to, the process has to be very fair. Mm -hmm. Now, if the Mugabe will say, look, most, most of the legislators are not around. I was not given an opportunity to make representation in parliament before the impeachment. Mm -hmm. And if care is not taken, the court may even step in and say, mm -hmm. look, you can't impeach him. And by so doing, this man will perpetuate himself mm -hmm. in power. Because so, they, they need a two-third majority yes. of the thing. joint uh, Senate and, and National yeah, Assembly. And then will you get the two-third when, when all of them, all are, of them are outside the country. So this, you see, is not, it's a very difficult position. So the best way is either you get an independent mediator who will mediate so that this man, and you create a pathway for him to leave office mm -hmm. quietly. But if they don't seize that opportunity and they're going on this route, I don't think anything will come out of it. But what That's leaders seem to be uh, talking with tongue in cheek, if, uh, if one could say that. Mm -hmm. uh, because they're not coming out you know, strongly enough. Britain, for example, has said, look, Mugabe has lost public and party support. Mm -hmm. That's how far Britain has gone yes. with 
any but, reaction but don't to, forget to this. the the problem you have to be very careful yeah. and you read their lips carefully mm -hmm. because most of these western countries have issues to score with Mugabe, with Mugabe. Mm -hmm. don't forget because the incursion of China into the economy of that country mm -hmm. is one and Mugabe himself has been an antagonist to some of these western countries yes. because in 2000 he took a decision the land policy yeah. by sending some of the white population out of that country. So because of that, he has not been in the good book of Britain and other countries. And now, most, what are they all saying? They are tongue-in-cheek, as you rightly put it, that, look, the Constitution must prevail. And if you want the Constitution to prevail, how do you do it? You go through Parliament mm -hmm. and take an account of And where is the Parliament? So it's still a, a cash 22 difficult situation. Nobody can just say, but, you know, if, if you don't take that my best point that there are three options but let me give you my better point the mm. better point is that they need to get an external independent mediator because this Catholic priest who has been shuffling between mm -hmm. the military mm -hmm. and Gaddafi and, yeah. he has been a friend and of Mugabe, uh, Mugabe. Mugabe mm. beg your pardon. he has been a friend of uh, Mugabe, Mugabe for the last the 14 years, years. Exactly. and people are making accusations mm -hmm. so he's not an independent person I think they need to look outward and get their good there are people all over the world who can do this and then by so doing it there will be a roadmap. And the same and people who want to office. take Mugabe out of the way are key allies of his. Uh, Nangwa, uh, Nangagwa. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. Very the, close to him. He even makes a lot of them. Maybe that is why they are biting but they cannot shoot. Mm -hmm. take, it, take it for instance. Munagagwa himself, who the people are saying is going to be the next president. Mm -hmm. This is a man that has a colorful past himself. Yes. Because of what happened, he's called crocodile. crocodile. Mm -hmm. Some sort of uh, Grace Mugabe label him as a snake that must be hit on the head. He's been a finance minister, he's been a housing minister, defense mm -hmm. minister, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of atrocities mm -hmm. that happened in the past. So, by the time you look at it, it's very difficult. And in 2000, when this man lost his election. It was Mugabe who even assisted him in getting to parliament and he ended up becoming a speaker. So that is why they are different. And if they are not care if they are not careful, what is going to happen in the long run is Gadabe, Mugabe is going nowhere. Okay, now the, the, the Zanu PF when they expelled uh, Mugabe and expelled Grace Mugabe for life mm. uh, from the Zanu PF, they pronounced uh, Mnangagwa as the next head of uh, the, 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 party, the party, bringing him in. Now Based on the constitution, mm -hmm. if the implementation process is activated today, mm -hmm. the second vice president, uh, uh, Pe Pe Pelekezela Mpoko, Mpoko. Mm -hmm. is the substantive president mm -hmm. or, or acting president, as, yeah, as it were. Yes. Yeah. And we know that uh, Mnangagwa has not been brought back. If the impeachment process takes place, mm -hmm. certainly by constitution, mm -hmm. it is not Nangagwa who should even be the it next. Should be uh, the other person. Exactly. But, should that be that the is a, but it can still be the acting president, okay. pending the time they have a good transition to power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either one way or the other, maybe there's going to be a snap election, okay. or they will call an election because election is not due until next year, if yeah. my memory serves me mm -hmm. right. And then they may call an early election, in which in which case they will have a democratic leader. So that is one issue. Mm -hmm. But the issue at hand these days. Don't forget, as soon as this man, Munagagwa, mm -hmm. he traveled to South Africa. Thereafter, he traveled to China. Mm -hmm. And the allegation is that some of these things cast some foreign hands you know. behind it. Mm -hmm. So if care is not taken, whether he will get to power or the other person, time will take because time is a How one. much of a clean break does Zimbabwe really need from this core this group of people that war veterans yes war, war veterans <laughs> you know the military nangagwa and the rest of them well, that's should a zimbabwe be looking for a real clean break for well, it to really uh, make progress well uh, definitely uh, definitely and they can get this is why this is a good opportunity for them to get a clean break it's either they get it once they have an election or this matter is resolved or the alternative to that is for this man just to resign and then they create a pathway to get rid mm -hmm. of him and then the next person will take over we seize that opportunity just to sweep everybody those who are corrupt those who have issues those who have human rights abuses and mm -hmm. allegations here and there against them so it's a good opportunity for them to start afresh okay but that, whether they seize that or not that is, is another thing I don't know. now the, the point there is you're saying that if care is not taking if, if zimbabweans and all these structures don't 
if they are not careful, they may not be able to even remove Mugabe. Yes. Now, if we see through that scenario, let us assume it's just a scenario mm -hmm. that Mugabe doesn't uh, step down. get impeached yes. or doesn't step down or doesn't go in exile and mm -hmm. becomes, because he said he's going to preside over the, the, the Congress party Congress in December. Yes. If that happens, what implication would there be for the military who are carrying out all of these things to embarrass, embarrass the president? Well, it's not even too far-fetched. Mm. Mm. Because the implication is that they become a toothless bulldog, and people will not respect them. And Mugabe will seize the opportunity to get his own pounds of flesh mm -hmm. by getting rid of some of them, and some of them are likely to face prosecution. And if you look at it, if, if you look at their, at their body language as things stand, it's either they are not united or they are not mm effective or well, something is sure. wrong somewhere. Yeah. Something and don't forget this man wrong. has a lot of debt against some of them. It may well be look, let me get out. If I leave, if you force me out, I'm going to release a bombshell, and then you will lose credibility when you get there. So there are a lot of things going on behind the scene, and some of them, are they even clean? Are they whiter than white? That mm. is the question you need to ask yourself. And to so it may well be the man is using hands. that as yes, an opportunity, as a, mm. opportunity to say, look, if you go on this route, I'm going to fight dirty. And once they get dirty, all of us are going to Though get dirty. in his speech, wow. he had talked about you know, no bitterness, and and all of that how believable is is well, it that, if he does that, that's the rhetoric but mm. if you look at the speech again <laughs> you have to be very, you see you Reading need to between be, the lines you need to be very careful when mm. people start marking their homework <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you what do you expect that's what you expect from mm. a sitting president there's no bitterness there's no this mm. but the moment he, that's the television aspect mm. the moment we go back in we say okay we will show you now <laughs> and we'll get back to you so all right, uh, Barista Femi Aino, international lawyer, thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, you so much. For thank you. You know, like, like some say, if you want to shoot me, better make sure you shoot me and shoot me to death. Exactly. But if you don't, if you don't, you when I come trouble. back, 